Most of us here never met him. Most of us here may not even know who he is. But all of us here owe a great deal to the namesake of Aoki Rama. Professor Keith Aoki had a lasting, positive impact on faculty and students at King Hall. He joined the faculty in 2007 and worked here until his passing in 2011. Professor Aoki was an accomplished and respected scholar in civil rights, critical race theory, intellectual property, and local government law. He was also a member of the prestigious American Law Institute. There are many words that can be used to describe Professor Aoki. He was a passionate and devoted scholar who combined various amounts of interest into his daily life. These interests range from architecture and music to social justice and biopiracy. By himself, his scholarship was innovative, groundbreaking, and insightful. For example, he wrote a leading article on how changing ideas of architecture and urban planning had a political effect on housing patterns and segregation in American cities. His work was also artistically creative. In some part, this was because of his comics. Professor Aoki challenged the notion that this medium was meant only for children, and he used it incredibly effectively in a variety of ways. A few years ago, along with two other professors, Professor Aoki put together a comic on copyright law and fair use. To date, thousands of copies have been sold, and over half a million people have downloaded it worldwide. Most professors are lucky if their work gets read by a few hundred, but Professor Aoki's artistry meant his work could reach millions. His work was never afraid to push and challenge existing doctrines. They often invoked historical imagery to demonstrate the pressing issues facing our time. Professor Aoki's artistic talents didn't end there. You see the young man at the bottom of this photo? Well, that's a professor of law in a 1980s art rock band called The Chameleons. He played violin and guitar. For those of you wondering what 80s rock sounds like, here's a small taste. Later in life, Professor Aoki would go on to play bass in a law professor band called the Garden Weasels. His creativity was endless. Professor Aoki was a legend among his students. Based on the testimony of those who took his classes, he consistently engaged his students and cared for their progress as young attorneys. He also brought his creativity into the classroom to help students better understand core legal concepts. It comes as no surprise as to why he was revered by virtually everyone he met. Even outside his own comics, he was a superhero professor. He was a man that, despite his many talents, was always kind and gentle with those around him. As mentioned before, Professor Aoki passed in 2011 at the young age of 55 after a prolonged illness. His passing came as a surprise to many. It also inspired an outpouring of support. Three different law reviews hosted symposia in his honor. The California State Senate adjourned its April 28th session in his memory. The list goes on and on. Most importantly, though, his spirit lives on. This event that we have here today is an honor to a man who brought so much to our community. It's an honor to someone who shared his talents with the world to help make it a better place. We hope that we can honor his memory by sharing our talents with each other. Thank you, Professor Aoki. You will not be forgotten. <laughs>